it's hard to believe. Last year, my son was in the eighth grade, and his school did a robotics competition. And it was the first time that robotics were introduced into the school, but uh, it was fascinating. They, they came from all the local region to compete at the local university for the kids, and they had to follow courses and uh, do certain applications with the robots. But it got me to thinking, boy, I'm so out of the loop. And uh, I just wanted to learn a little bit about it. And if you're into making things and you want to learn about electronics and you want to learn about writing software programs and robotics and pretty much anything that you, you want to start developing or building just as a hobby, uh, I would start with the Arduino. The Arduino, if you'll think of it as a little motherboard, and it's hard to believe, but it took a week for us to go from three little motors, they're called servos, and a few sticks to a robotic arm that has five axes and a grip. Um, it's just amazing. There's a fella on YouTube called Programming Electronics Academy. And I'll say that again, Programming Electronics Academy, that will teach you how to program one of these. And not only can you do robotics, but you can get hundreds of different kinds of sensors for these so that they'll detect light, movement. Uh, they can put cameras on them. You can put servos on them, which is just a motor that you can control uh, specifically its rotation. Um, it can detect smoke. It can detect carbon dioxide. It can detect water levels. And you just simply plug this into your board and this into your USB port on your computer. And once you've programmed it, you can disconnect it from your computer and your program will be stored on the memory chip. And like this, this is just simply running off of a uh, cell phone charger. And this other is a little battery pack for specifically the servos. But um, it's very exciting. And you can pick these up. They're under $20. And it's a, a very inexpensive way to start getting involved in this stuff. But if you're interested, again, in electronics, software, writing, uh, making things, this is a, a fantastic way to go. And I just want to say one more thing. This fellow from Programming Electronics Academy, you, you start out by using a breadboard. And these are used for um, making connections without having to use solder. But once you, you get this down, you can go to uh, a shield. which is simply a, something that, a level that plugs into the, the top of an Arduino. And it eliminates this step and lets you just practice different programming steps. It's a very quick way to go and it's, it's exciting. Um, but like I said, a week from a couple of sticks on some servos to a robotic arm, it's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, I hope it, it piques your interest. I'll catch you on the next one.